Hey guys, so last week I did a video on my horror books, so please go and check that out if you haven't already, in light of it being Halloween soon. In that video I said I was going to be doing a video on all of my vampire books, and there's a lot of them, because the vampire genre is my favourite genre of all time. So here we go, let's get on, because there's a lot to go through. This is all of the vampire books that I own. So sorry it's dark here, but the first set of vampire books I own is of course the Sookie Stackhouse novels, The Southern Vampire Mysteries by Charlene Harris. I have the complete collection and some companion books including The Vampire Files just there, True Blood's Field Guide to Vampires and The Vampires on Film. Unfortunately I can't show you those because I can't get them down, but I have done a lot of videos on my True Blood collection in the past. Next up, again sorry I can't show you very well, but I'm not taking them all down. This is my collection of Buffy the Vampire Slayer books, so I'll just do a quick overview across the top. All of that shelf, and then there's a few there, so that's all my Buffy books. Then we have From Dracula to Twilight, Vampires, The Complete Guide to Vampire Mythology by Charlotte Montague. The Vampire Book, The Legends, The Lore, The Allure. Gothic Dreams of Vampires by Anne Stokes and Russ Thorne. Undead and Unreturnable by Mary Janice Davidson. This is part of a series, I can't remember the name of the series. I didn't really like the book that much, I'm afraid, so I didn't buy the rest in the trilogy, in, in the series, I don't know how many there is. But this is the one that I have. Flesh and Blood by Kristen Painter. I haven't read this one yet. And then we have the Complete House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cast, excluding Loved, the new one that came out this year. So we have Marked, Trade, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Awakened, The First Novella, Dragon's Oath, Destined, The Second Novella, Lenobia's Vow, Hidden, The Third Novella, Neferet's Curse, Revealed, The Fourth and Final Novella, Colonna's Fall, The Last Book in the Series, Redeemed, Before Loved Came Out, and finally the companion book, The Fledgling's Handbook, which I've unfortunately lost the dust cover to. So that's all the House of Night books. And then we have Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, which I love, both the movie and the book. The Vampire Lestat and Queen of the Damned, all by Anne Rice. They're the only Vampire Chronicles books I currently own. Then we have, of course, Bram Stoker's Dracula. The New Vampire's Handbook, A Guide for Creatures of the Night by Miles Proctor. Vampire Academy by Rachel Mead. This is the only Vampire Academy book I own and I've not read it yet. I've never read the Vampire Academy books, so I need to do those. Vampire Doll, which is actually a, anim a comic anime kind of book and it's read back to front. I have also read Vampire Night as well, but they were from the library, so I don't own any copies. Blood Sinister, a point horror book. I used to love the point horrors. Again, I don't own many because I got them from the library. Bitten to Death by Jennifer Radin. Again, I haven't read this one yet. Diary of a Wimpy Vampire, Prince of Dorkiness by Tim Collins. I think this is obviously a parody of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I'm not sure. Then I have this Robert Pattinson biography, which I keep in the Harry Potter room. I just included it in here because is in Twilight. Then we have A Vampire Handbook, Bite, by Kevin Jackson. Next up we have another point horror book, The Vampire's Promise, by Caroline B. Cooney. We have a couple of Vampirates books, which is a series I started but never really got into. So we have Vampirates, Demons of the Ocean, Justin Somper. The Dead Deep Small Book, I think it's an extract of a book, I'm not sure and Vampirate's Blood Captain. Then we have The Sweet Scent of Blood by Suzanne McLeod, which again, I haven't read yet. Vampire Plagues, London by Sebastian Rook. And then we have the Vampire Diaries series, which as of time of recording, I haven't read any yet. I've never watched the TV show. This is the next thing I'm doing by LJ Smith. So we have The Awakening and the Struggle, book one and two. Then we have book one on its own. Uh, sorry, book two on its own. These are out of order. Book three on its own, and book four on its own. I guess I don't have book one on its own. <laughs> then we have books three and four together. I don't know why I need all these. And book five, which I've heard is the last one, but I know that there's loads of spin-offs and stuff, but these are the only ones I have. Then we have quite a few books relating to Twilight. I have shown my Twilight um, collection in more detail, so I'll be skipping through these pretty quick. But we have, of course, Twilight. The Twilight Special 10th Anniversary Edition with Life and Death, which I hated. New Moon, Eclipse, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, Breaking Dawn, The Twilight Companion by Louis H. Gresh, The Twilight Phenomenon by Nicola Bardola, 
an unauthorised annual of Robert Taylor and Kristen from 2011, and then the illustrated movie companions, so Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn Part 1, they never made a Breaking Dawn Part 2. And the final vampire book I own is Vampire, the terrifying lost journal of Dr. Cornelius Van Helsing. I'm knackered. <laughs> I've been putting them away as I've been filming. We went through that pretty quickly, didn't we? But there's probably about 100 vampire books, including the Sucky Stackhouse novels and all of the Buffy ones. But yeah, vampires are my favourite genre to read about, so I'm happy that I have that many. And I've got a lot to go through and read that I haven't read yet. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a really good Halloween. In time of recording, I don't know how many Halloween videos are going up from me, how many scary videos, but we shall see. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.